Have you ever considered moving to Ireland? Is Ireland full as some would suggest? A great holiday doesn't always translate to a good permanent home. Let's explore. Is Ireland utopia? Welcome back to the channel. Delighted to have you watching the channel showing you Ireland today. At the end of this video, you will know why Ireland is for you or just a pipe dream. While we try not to be too negative about moving to Ireland, we are being totally honest about what to expect and not to expect. Some will do well, some will not. A lot is about adaption to the Irish culture and attitude and that will depend on which part of the country you settle in and whether you settle. One important thing you must do coming into Ireland is to try your best to integrate into society. Irish people generally are very hospitable and will mostly like finding out about your background. That can be seen as nosy, but generally when you are open with them, they will take to you very quickly. It is a two-way street you must make some effort to meet either through school or the work environment socially. Your English also needs to be good both spoken and written. Some university qualifications gained outside Ireland may also not be acceptable unless you can upgrade here in Ireland. If you overcome all that be prepared for the woes of the Irish weather, our four seasons in a day joke is based on hard fact. If you get used to that, you are well on your way. So how can you successfully navigate the moving process and make the most of your Irish adventure? Firstly, do your research, learn as much as you can about the country, its culture, and its customs. Secondly, be prepared for the costs, budget wisely, and have a financial safety net in place. We would suggest at least 10,000 euro. Thirdly, be open-minded, be willing to adapt to the Irish way of life and try new things. Being homesick is common at first. Immigrants play an important part of Irish life today. Many bring their diverse culture and share it here with us. They help the Irish economy to grow and most welcome them. If you are a couple, the main breadwinner should travel to Ireland first and prepare the ground for the family to arrive. In that way, you are conserving your funds to get through and potentially expensive process. When it comes to finding housing, start looking early and be prepared to act fast. Use social media, online resources, local contacts to find the perfect place for you. Securing employment can also be tricky. So make sure you have a solid plan in place, whether employed freelance or self-employed starting your own business. If you are finding our videos useful, please follow, share and subscribe as we bring you life in Ireland beyond the pale. Thank you, we have ourselves and two hungry cats to feed. Thank you so much. In 2023, the Irish population was at a peak of 5,280,000. Nearly 16% were citizens from abroad. Unfortunately, we have a housing crisis with 15,000 people officially in homeless accommodation. We have students struggling to find reasonable accommodation at a decent cost. We have unrest and a few riots against housing asylum seekers. The Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil, Green Coalition government have been slow to deal with the flow of economic immigrants into Ireland. Tent cities have been common around Dublin in particular. Mainstream Irish media have been silent recently on this crisis. There is an election coming up sooner than you realize and something else to distract us. A shiny new bauble. Our cost of living is one of the highest in Europe but below London and Paris. One of the most difficult things to do is find a job and find a place to live close by. If you have school-aged children, can you get them into a school nearby? Many schools have closed enrollment. Because of a housing shortage, moving jobs is a difficult process. We didn't even mention visa requirements. And you really need to be in one of the skill shortage groups to have any chance of success. The easiest visa to get is a student visa to learn English or study at one of our universities. There are numerous colleges here teaching English. A student visa is a stamp two, which allows you to work 20 hours per week to fund yourself. If you are married, and have family, then unless you are in the high skill class and are capable of earning between you close to 100,000 euro, we would suggest looking elsewhere to be brutally honest. Culture difference can be hard to get around. Irish culture and customs are a mixture of tradition and religion. Christmas and Easter being our main festivals celebrated. We are generally a tolerant, friendly nation, but in recent years, with many asylum seekers arriving, some are economic asylum seekers, the tolerance has been tested. 
Right-wing extremists have exploited that to some advantage, and that is ongoing as of late 2024. In conclusion, moving to Ireland is not a decision to be taken lightly. There are pros and cons to consider, and it's essential to be aware of the challenges that lie ahead. But with the right mindset, some careful planning, and a willingness to adapt, you can make the most of your Irish adventure and call this beautiful country home. Thanks for watching, and if you're thinking of making the move to Ireland, we would love to hear about your experiences in the comments below. Thanks for getting this far. We hope this video has been useful and has given you food for thought. We have more videos up there to watch on life in Ireland today beyond the pale in Dublin. Please subscribe, share and follow us as we show you all aspects of life in Ireland today. No. Don't forget to check out our other videos on travel up there and relocation tips. Until next time, Slauncha.